Why do people love Art Deco? And is the Renoir Lexington watch a worthy representative of its kind? Let's find out. Welcome to Caseback Watches. My name is Tim and our topic today is the Brimoire Lexington and Art Deco. I'm pretty much in love with the style Art Deco, so I'm a bit biased here. But I think with my passion for this style, I'm in good company. The watch itself I featured the first time in my Watch of the Week series, where I pointed out the strength and some, uh, let's say, weaker spots. We will see if these spots are present in real life. But first some words about the style Art Deco itself. It appeared before World War I the first time in France and the full name is Art Decorative. So we're speaking here about a decoration, not necessarily about art. And when you say to an artist, oh, this is a nice decoration you've made there, then haha, you have a little problem with him or her, I think. But I personally, I love art and I love Art Deco because of the this interesting mix of luxurious materials like, like wood, marble, brass and, and, and chrome plated surfaces and the craft that you find often in Art Deco items and this amazing design language which is the result by the way of many influences. And now you may say many influences but it's very clean, clean lines and it's very, it seems to be very pure. The opposite is true. In fact in Art Deco you find classic um, French influences like Louis says, you find elements of Chinese art in it and Egypt art and you find also um, let's say signs of ancient cultures from South America in those lines and this mix fine fine craft, fine materials and all those influences condensed in one very convincing style. I mean how not to, how not to love this. But now to our watch, Brimoire Lexington. They've contacted me after the Watch of the Week series and asked me, uh, after the video, excuse me, and asked me if I want to review this piece here in flesh and flesh and blood. And I said, yes, of course. I was a little bit concerned because of the spots I pointed out in the video. And the founder, Patrick um, Bremer, is a very, very friendly guy. And it's rather painful to say something critical about a watch when you really like the, the creator of the piece. This is the beauty when you have um, paid content or brand deals so you can handle shit and you say to the audience it's just great but I cannot do this. I have to be um, a bit more honest here and but luckily it came then and it's a very nice piece. It's a very nice piece and of course I've checked the, the weaknesses I spotted and they yeah I can see them but if they're not very not very severe and so in fact let's be merciless because the price for this watch is 985 US dollars those are over 900 euros so really really money here and then you have to deliver something special and well made. But first let me announce a little giveaway. Patrick wanted to give me a t-shirt for free and I had to clarify, I'm very sorry, I don't wear t-shirts. I know it's a bit quirky, but that's, that's only me. So let's make a little giveaway with the T. It's size L, it's black with an Art Deco pattern here. And I like to add one of my new straps, the case back watch number one watch strap, high quality, made in Germany for free together with this shirt. This will be the giveaway. And I will give you the email address to enter the giveaway after the lightbox video, okay? The lightbox part. And as always, little invitation in case you're new here. Every Friday I do these longer videos with actual watches in the studio. And every Monday is time for my Watch of the Week series with brief introductions and brief reviews of recently introduced timepieces. If you don't want to miss any form of content here, then please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so that you'd get your notifications. And now let's carry on with the Brimoire Lexington with a wonderful Morocco dial. And Patrick from the Brimoire company asked me if I could review another piece, please, because it's a little bit short with this, this type here, because everybody wants this. And I think we clearly see the reason here. <laughs> it's just a, a really nice mix of color. If you see the copper here with this, yeah, what is it? Washed out blue, very nice. And the copper you find also on the logo and yeah, really, really nice. But let's stick to the methods here. Let's go over the basics first. We have here a case diameter of 39 millimeters. The lock to lock length is 48.5, thickness 11 and the, the, the lock width here is 20. 
we have a sapphire crystal and here we have an interesting movement. Looks familiar, but this is an STP1-11 and this stands for Swiss Technology Production. 44 hours power reserve and it looks a bit like an EDA2824. If you compare this, there you are, now it's visible. See that? You have a bit of decoration here, but the base caliber here is the good old EDA2824. So as mentioned, sapphire crystal, not a screw down crown and the watch is waterproof up to 50 meters. Yeah, dress watch, right? You shouldn't go in the bathroom with this watch. The crown form, by the way, I just love. Look at this. This looks very vintagey, very, yeah, very, very handy at the same time. It's nice to manipulate it here. I will show you this in a second, but let's focus more first on the dial here. It's hard to take images of this of this color spectrum, but in nature it's really convincing. It's not too loud. It's not too, there's not so much saturation in it so that it pops that you have to stare at it all day. So my eyes really, really well done. And what I also like is the font. Here you have these Art Deco numerals 12, 3, 6 and 9. And in my watch of the week video, I was um, a bit uncertain about the hands. I said something like they look a bit generic, like the rest is custom made and then they opted for these hands here. Um, but to be honest, they fit the style of the watch and I have a hard time to imagine something else for this now. So I'm happy with this, to be honest. And I'm happy with the, with the an, an entire construction here. If, if you take the bezel here with those steps, the facets here, the brushing, there's brush pipe polished. And so the overall thing looks in nature a bit more, um, let's say refined and luxurious than on images. The only side here I do not enjoy is this, this edge here. You have the curved underside of the case and a flat case back and this leads to this step here. But okay, yeah, I see the point. I mean, constructing an entire different case back then you need something with screws and yeah, would, would blow up the price, I think. And so we don't see it when we wear the watch. But yeah, this was the only little thing I've seen here and I didn't like it so much. And now let's manipulate the watch. You can hand wind it and position one, there's only one position. Or oh, is there a ghost position? No, no, not a ghost position. This is very good. So, and that's it. Feels rock solid, to be honest. Feels absolutely fine, hackable, as you can see. And so the technology in this watch is um, pretty satisfying, I must say. And there we are. 39 millimeters is a bit misleading because of the case form with those massive lugs. Now you see that the lug length is pretty dominant, 48 millimeters on my 17 centimeter wrist. But it sits comfortable because of the height and because of the case form. By the way, nice clasp here, really nice clasp. Fits the style of the watch. And I mean the entire ensemble with the shirt and everything. And maybe you can second that what I said now that the colors are not overly saturated. And first I thought, ah, a bit more blue would be nice, but no, especially if you're outside, daylight, this works just fine. Okay, and now let's add the giveaway information. I set the Brimoire t-shirt and a nice 80 millimeter watch strap, high quality, made in Germany. And to participate, please write to giveawaycaseback at iCloud.com giveawaycaseback at icloud.com and please write only your name, your country and what kind of clasp you want, gold or silver. So here's Pierre from, from France and I like to have the golden clasp. And the giveaway is open for 24 hours, okay? So everybody can participate, but please check the description. There you find the exact terms and conditions. And when then you read giveaway is closed, then it's unfortunately really closed. And if you're not the winner, don't panic, we will do this again. And in the meantime, you find nice leather products at casebackwatches.com. Straps and pieces I make myself with my own hands here. And the latest is this little watch pouch. I've made from a very small cowhide, four pieces only, three are sold, the last is now available 
in the shop but I will produce this model again it's fun to make it does the job and it's good looking and so I think it's yeah it's worth it okay and that's enough for one video Patrick thank you very much and dear viewer if you want to have your sneak previews and updates then as always please visit me on Instagram casebig underscore Tim and now let me thank you very much for your attention and until next time